Welcome back to AM Live. If you've seen people doing crazy jumps over railings and through cities with effortless grace, they may be trained experts in parkour. Otherwise, it's just crazy people. But this is a form of movement that stresses efficiency, agility, and speed mm -hmm. while negotiating obstacles in between using acrobatic moves. Yep, it's no joke. It's developed from military obstacle course training sessions in the late 90s. Parkour has become increasingly popular with it being featured in films like James Bond's Casino Royale and Prince of Persia. And now it is gaining traction in the region and in Singapore three training schools have been set up in the last two years to cater to the growing number of enthusiasts here. So this morning we have with us Derek Su. They found a Superfly Monkey Dragons Parkour Free Running Academy to tell us more. Very good morning, good morning. to you. What morning. an interesting title. Anyways, <laughs> parkour, how would you define it? Um, I would say a lot of people just look at it and they see just the physical aspect of yeah. it. But I really think it's, it's a discipline that works at developing one's mentally, physically, and spiritually How so? through the, the art of motion. Mm -hmm. How so? Well, okay, there, I, uh, let, me, let me explain the kind of like the elements. The first one, in terms of mental, um, a lot of the moves, as you see, they're very scary. I mean, you see these massive videos, people doing these big stunts. Right. All right, that's, that's obviously very scary, but starting pulling that right back to the basic moves, uh, even when I first started, a simple move of just jumping over a rail, that was scary to me. So you have to learn how to manage your fear. So that's a mental aspect. Mm -hmm. Then obviously the physical aspect, because a lot of the moves require a lot of uh, coordination, that mm -hmm. requires balance, it mm -hmm. requires strength. So you have to develop yourself that way. Mm -hmm. And then once you have kind of uh, got mass or got some competency in the in parkour, mm -hmm. then you start experiencing a kind of a spiritual uh, part of it, which is when mm. you get flow, when mm -hmm. you join movements together. Mm -hmm. and you have this nice flowing movement, the gracefulness that mm -hmm. you just mentioned, and you kind of become one with the environment as well as you just totally have to be in the moment as well. Wow. So it's a, it's a really, really okay. spiritual experience for people who could get to that level. So, so that's when you get the flow, but that, I mean, so that's literally when you're, you're going through a certain course uh, uh, non-stop, I guess, yeah. uh, overcoming yeah. a bunch of obstacles. And you see it's just so fluid and yeah. You're just totally immersed in the experience. Nothing else matters. Until you hurt yourself and fall down. <laughs> <laughs> then you kind of get out of the moment. Right? Well, well, hopefully that doesn't happen. Yeah. You see, I mean, there are things that, I mean, you look at it again, it looks very dangerous and everything. Right. And I think that's actually one of the, I would say, one of the distractions from, or detractions from all these videos that are being posted up online, mm -hmm. is that a lot of people, when they see it, they say, oh, wow, that's amazing, mm -hmm. but that's not for me. Mm -hmm. right. which, is the, which is how I felt when, you know, I never entertained the idea of doing parkour until okay. I was accidentally introduced into it. Right. So, um, but yeah, then again, it you, also requires training because uh, these yeah. are moves that you shouldn't do just on the spur of the moment. You can actually hurt yourself quite badly if you don't do it mm -hmm. correctly, right? Absolutely. And the correct way of training is that you must condition your body first. How long does it take? For example, what sort of training are we talking about? Okay, well, there's, I'd say there's like the two two components of the training. Firstly, there's a strength and conditioning. So the Yamakaze who started this uh, many years ago, uh, with David Bell just being the father of it, um, they, uh, they basically spend about two or three hours each training session just on conditioning, mm -hmm. which is about building up your strength, uh, building up your tendons, your, your, the strength of your tendons and your ligaments. So you really need to have total body conditioning before you start attempting really big jumps or anything that requires that, you know, it's very demanding discipline, so you, you need to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and that also minimizes injuries, because if your body's not ready for it and you try and do a, a really yeah. big movement, then obviously you're going to hurt yourself. Okay. Okay. And, just, and remind people too that when they see the clips, I mean, it, the, the guys have practiced through those uh, exactly. runs uh, many times. It's not a, a one-off, you know, and many Absolutely. years. And uh, there's yeah. probably, they took a lot of takes. I yeah, mean, probably. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> guaranteed. So achieve that flow, <laughs> that chi, you know. Yeah. Yeah. With this sport, how much of it is, is strength required and how much of it is just, I mean, so the stronger guys fare better or, or what? Okay, strength, I think, obviously you do need to be strong, but it's more about coordination and engaging your whole body in a functional movement. Mm -hmm. Because if you take a gym, a uh, person who goes to the gym, for example, uh, they're, they're, they're just training on using muscles individually, you know, right. working on the biceps, working on the triceps. So they're maybe not as adapt to using the whole body as one, right. which is what um, parkour allows you to do. Do you find, uh, I'm sure a lot of young people actually take this up, do you find um, 
maybe uh, 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 women? women or girls also taking this up? <laughs> absolutely, like absolutely. We just actually had uh, an evening the other night, and I think half the class were females. Really? And they're having a great time. I think it's fantastic. I mean, we'd love more girls to join. Would you? <laughs> it, it, <laughs> Yourself? Um, <laughs> would it be an advantage if you're more flexible? Um, yeah, well, I think, so, obviously, uh, being a girl, you have some advantages and some disadvantages. Mm -hmm. And the advantage would be girls are generally more flexible. Yep. They right. generally have a better balance. Ooh, yes. For example, <laughs> a lot of uh, parkour stuff's like walking on rails and jumping uh -huh. onto rails. I what was terrible like at it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but yeah. girls but, do it easily. They but can do it first yeah. time. You know, parkour sounds a lot like a local term, pato, right? Which means dating. <laughs> yeah. And it's very similar because... I wish I was an expert on that. Uh, but you see, <laughs> it, it requires a physical physical sort of strength, agility. It's a mental game. And when you're in the flow, it's all go. Wow, it's all good, right? Expert. So it's like it's like dating. It's like pato. Well, I, <laughs> think, I think we should join forces and we can do the parkour, pato academy. Yeah. You, can, uh, you can go pato by going for parkour. Okay, and then... Uh, there you go. Um, <laughs> Parkour and a park tour expert. Anyways, uh, we've been talking to Derek Sue about the rising interest in parkour. It's a form of movement mm -hmm. which uses your natural body skills, like you know, jumping and climbing to navigate obstacles yeah, in your path. It's really to strengthen condition, not really uh, with the ultimate motive to do something crazy. No, no, no. It's all very well planned out. Just remember, yeah. don't try it out on your own at very home. Well you do need to do need to train yourself and, mm -hmm. and do it under proper supervision. You can find out more about the academy. It's at the website. It's uh, superflymonkeydragons.com. Oh, I wonder right, where that yeah. came from. <laughs> well, on that note, we're done for today. It is Monday, 19th November. Join us tomorrow. We've got lots of great stuff happening. Plus, of course, your daily dose of world and business news. Okay.